Hello everyone, in this video I show you how to transform a simple SVG into a multiple layer SVG. This is a really simple tutorial using Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program that anybody can download onto their computer. And once you create your multiple layer SVG, you can go ahead and upload this into Cricut Design Space and cut it out. So if you want to learn how I do this, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first you're going to head on to Google and search up your image. For this video, I'm going to look up a Mickey Mouse image. So whatever your search is, just make sure you add coloring pages to the end of your search. And then go to the images tabs. And then you're going to right click on your image and select copy image and now you can go ahead and open up Inkscape and then go ahead and paste that image so now you can go to path up here and select trace bitmap right here and then in the multiple scans, you're going to select Smooth Stack Remove Background and then hit Update. And then in the single scan, you're going to play around with these numbers. You can increase or decrease. So basically, what you want to do here is make sure that your image in this little square is clear. And sometimes it looks like it's really unclear, but once you hit OK, it actually turns out to be pretty clear. So I'm going to hit OK and close this little tab. And then if I pull up on the image, I can see that it is, in fact, a clear image that I can work with. So now, this is our original image and we can tell because it still has this white background and this one no longer has a background. So we can go ahead and delete this one on the left and this is the one that we are going to work with. So now I'm just going to move it to the center of my page. And then what we're going to do now is we're basically going to color in our image, making sure that we don't have anything selected, just like this. Now we can go to the paint bucket at the bottom and select the color, and we can see the color up on the right hand side. So now you're going to zoom in and color in your image. So make sure that you color in every piece that needs to be yellow. And once you do that, you're going to select this arrow on the left and holding down the shift key, select each of these pieces and then go to path and select union. So now that we do that, we can see that it is all one piece. And we're going to repeat this process for the remainder of our image. So make sure you get every little piece. Make sure you zoom in. And then hit the arrow, hold down shift, select each piece, and then hit path, and then select union. And then if we hit command Z, it'll return it to its original place. So now I'm going to do the pink. And I'll go ahead and do this pink as well. And now once again, 
hit the arrow, hold down shift, select both, and then go to path and select union. Sorry if I'm being repetitive, I just want to make sure that everyone understands what I'm doing here. And now we're going to do the white portion. So this is going to be a little bit hard to see. But just go ahead and fill in all the white in your image. and the eyes and now hit the arrow hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select each of these pieces and then hit union and as you can see I missed this piece here so to fix that I'm going to go back into the paint bucket and really zoom in and fill that piece in and now I can hold down shift and select the other piece and then hit union and now you can see that it is attached. So once you are done with that you can see that these little portions need to be cut out as well in our final image so I recommend that you select a different color that you are not using in the rest of your image for example, I'm going to use this royal blue here, and I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, and this portion right here. And now I'm going to group those together, so hold down shift and select both, and then hit union. And now, once you are done, you're going to select your whole image and hit duplicate. When you right click, select duplicate and then pull up on your image. And now on your new image, you're going to go to path and select break apart and then go back to path and select union. And now this is going to be our base for our image. So we can go ahead and save this. And make sure you save it as a plain SVG. And then we are going to upload this into Cricut Design Space. So upload it like you would any other image. And then before I ungroup it, I'm going to resize it to the size that I want my image to be. So go ahead and pull on the resize handle down here. And now we can go ahead and ungroup. So now basically I'm going all I'm going to do is move all of these elements onto our base and right click on them if they are showing up in the back and make sure you send them to the front. So right click, send to front and go ahead and align that. And again, right click, send to front, and now align it. And once everything is aligned where it needs to be, we're going to hide everything except for the blue, which is what we need to cut out. So to do that, you're going to select both and then hit the slice button down here. And now we can go ahead and remove this. 
So hit the X and then hit the X again. And now we have that perfect cutout. So now we're going to send this to the back and we can unhide all of our elements. And we can go ahead and delete the outline as well. And this is what we are going to cut out. So you're going to go ahead and hit make it and you see that it breaks everything up into different colors. So each mat is a different color. But I'm going to go ahead and move everything to one mat and to do that you're going to go into the different color mat. So hit the image and then Hit the three dots and select move image and then select the mat that you want to move it to so again move image and then select the mat and if you're like me and you forget the different colors i would recommend that you take a picture of each of the mats and that way you know which portion is what color and that way you won't get confused. And you can go ahead and align this however you want on your mat. Just make sure that you give enough space for all of your different colors. So what I like to do is start like from four down to four six it's going to be one color and from seven down to ten it's going to be another color and then from ten down to twelve it's another color but you don't have to do it the same way I'm doing it I'm just giving you an example of what I do and here is my mat once I prepared it so here you could see all the different colors and then how I arranged it to match our final mat that we did in Cricut Design Space so go ahead and cut that out and once you cut that out go ahead and remove it from your mat and I like to roll my mat and then pull off my pieces this keeps it from curling and now I'm going to go ahead and weed everything out and then we can go ahead and layer this design so now that everything is nice and weeded go ahead and take a piece of transfer tape and you can go ahead and reuse this piece for all of the pieces and then taking your standard grip mat go ahead and lay down your base and then place your transfer tape over your cut pieces so do this in portions I'm going to do the shoes first and then you're going to go ahead and align that and then scrape it down and you're just going to go ahead and repeat this step for the remainder of your pieces And again, I'm reusing the same piece of transfer tape. And that is basically it. Once everything is nice and aligned, here is a look at the final product.
and now this decal is ready to be applied to any of your other projects so you could add this to for example a Starbucks cup or any other tumblers if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and of course I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you.